morning, YouTube. Welcome to another edition of the Gravestone Pros with North Country Memorials. We are glad you're here with us today. It's going to be another good day. I am still out on the road sandblasting. Got the compressor out there. And I got more uh, lettering jobs to get completed here. The clouds are just gorgeous. It's, uh, you know, it's a nice day. If you got to be working outside, it's a nice day to do it. It's Saturday. I'm working again. Kind of wish I wasn't. Doesn't matter. I'm here doing it, putting in the time, putting in the work. You got to do what you got to do. So we're going to be putting a final day on this stone over here for Mr. Neville's and we sold this stone to them i don't know maybe 10 years ago i bet and maybe even longer but uh, we're gonna get his final date put on get it taken care of for his wife get her all set here Got that done. Took about 45 minutes, roughly. And yeah, she looks pretty good there. Pretty happy with that. So I think that's about all I'm gonna film today. It is a beautiful day, but I'd like to uh, I'd like to have my headphones on with my music. And I can't do that if I'm filming with my phone. I will say goodbye for now. We are once again heading to Old Forge. Uh, there is some rain in the forecast, but it shouldn't be too bad. And <clears throat> we are going to reset that large stone. There, uh, there should be no problem doing it. We should be able to do it. We got that new tool. And today will be the day we put it to the test and see if it works for what we need it to. So if all goes well, at the end of the day today, that job will be done. And I'll give you a little background here of uh, kind of the different times we were up there trying to work on it so you can uh, see kind of what's gone on before. We're in the process of offsetting this stone and uh, hopefully doing it. it. It doesn't, it doesn't, I'm looking at the screen, it doesn't look as perilous as it actually is. It's the largest stone I think I've ever picked up and it has the possibility of falling for sure so we're gonna work at it see what we get hopefully it's not america's funniest home videos yeah <laughs> that's in case it falls in case it falls then then it's off the ground we can get a strap under it easy yeah like. i've been to that rodeo <laughs> i'm almost inclined to say let's tip it over what if it breaks it was your idea. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I'm with you. See, if it was hanging out over the margin that far, yeah. I'd say we were going to stand up here, one, two, three, shove, and and it would just go, and it would. It's not going to break hitting the ground. So what do you want to do? I don't know. If they got to toss them, they toss them on tires. I mean, the problem you're still, either way, you're right. going to wreck that margin if you do it that way. Right. All right, Lord, we need wisdom. I want to try pulling it with the tractor this way. To slide it. To slide it. And then what are we hoping that will accomplish? Well. We're hoping if it's maybe in the middle, you can lift up without it tipping over. So it probably. which edge do we want to pull? We, well, both. We want, okay. to, we want to slide the whole thing. I think we can. So we've got to come up at least a third. Take this. 
your, it ain't going anywhere. I mean, if it does, just keep get, keep yourself away. If it goes, get out of the way. Don't try to keep a little pressure on it. Don't try to hold it. Whatever you do. See how quick I am. We want to super feather it. These hydraulic lines are tiny, so it's pretty slow. I think you're going to have to go forward probably three, four feet. That way? So, because all you're going to do is run your bucket. Yep, just very, very slight. Stay right where you're at. All right, let's. Man, I wish you weren't behind it like that. We can get plastic underneath it. If we can, that's going to pick the whole thing up. Then, then, then we're golden in the box, in your uh, toolbox. So if you can get it, you just get, get it, get it as, as far as we can, far as you possibly can. Count of three? Oh, what is it? Go ahead, we'll get yours. Yeah, well, if you go on North Country Memorials YouTube. Yeah. Or not, I'm, I'm sorry, Gravestone, Gravestone Pros. We have it on our website too, I think. The links are on our website. All right, if you just keep some pressure there. Uh, where are we going with it again? We don't know. <laughs> we want to see if we get it up. Yeah, well, let's. I can put it out and uh, at least. Uh... Let, let just a little bit of pressure off. Little more. At some point, I'm going to have to just go. Well, th this is pulling forward. Now the only thing it'll do is cable down. Yeah. Maybe 315 year old. Look at that dough right behind us there. If I was caretaker, there'd be no more deer in this cemetery. <laughs> Good luck. Hey baby. They're like squirrels up here. All right, golden. How are we gonna get the base up? Strong like bull. Smell like bull. <laughs> Want some lead? What's that for? Is that what they set them with? One in each corner, and then there's one that's probably still stuck to the bottom of that. For leveling? And uh, no, it's to keep space so that this stuff doesn't all just push out. Dude, we don't care about this foundation. Just hook up one side to that and pull it sideways. You know? Oh, hold on. All right, you can get that undone. <laughs> Work on a couple stones in the cemeteries that we moved a few weeks ago. We're gonna be putting those back on. We are ready to head out. We made it to the cemetery here and everything is nice and snowy. We got a little bit of snow back at home, but we're a little farther north. We're right in the middle of the Adirondacks now. So I don't think we're gonna be able to do that one today. It's just too wet and slippery to be handling something that size, I think, but we'll take a little closer look at it and see. Getting in here, getting her done, the big piece. Uh, we're not going to be able to set it, set it today, but we'll get at least put onto the foundation so it's ready to go. Uh, I think we uh, tackled something bigger than us and we won so far. We're not completely done yet because we've got to come back and put setting compound under it, but uh, wisdom says let's do it when it's warm and dry 
less chance of the stone neck because the stone's got to come down against uh, almost against the stone itself and the chances of it sliding or slipping um, are potentially good so rather than risk it because the top piece on that weighs just about a ton bottom piece on that is is uh, probably around 1500 pounds and it's all polished so when you have all polished surface there's a whole lot more that can go wrong than if you have a, a rocked rough surface that if you chip something uh, it really doesn't do a lot of damage so big job we'll finish it next spring wish we could have gotten that set but like dad said it's just too slippery that polish on polish with wet it's man it's just like ice um it's some of the slippery stuff you get a wet polished top granite it's just bad news so better to wait for a safer day when it's warm and dry but uh, the stone is not going to fall off in the winter and that's what we are here for so we're glad little spike horn here Here's to a dry day. Well, so much for the dry day. Looking a little wet out there. Hopefully we're just driving through it though. It is definitely not nice. It is raining. So we are probably not gonna be able to do our biggest stone that we were hoping to. That will probably have to wait for another day again. Uh, when you work outside, weather plays a big part. It's a factor, whether you like it or not. We're not gonna be able to complete everything we wanted today, which is the way it goes. You can, uh, can only do what you can do. And I do not want to move that gigantic stone on a day that it's wet and could be dangerous. So this stone here is the big one that we've got to reset yet. And yeah, she's massive. Big old sucker. So soon we will be back to get that. Obviously, as you can see, we've been there multiple times. We've tried to work on it and uh, not been successful. So we are glad that today finally is the day it should get done. I decided that I'm going to ride my motorcycle today because it is gorgeous. And Jordan's got somebody riding with him anyway, so he doesn't need the company. So I'm gonna take it and use it to my advantage. Take a nice little ride today. Old Forge is normally a beautiful ride, so it should be fun. Oh she's ready to go so there she is the big behemoth first i've got to get the new setting tool all set up at the right size and then we can see if she'll lift it without an extra bar we are all done with the prep work here and we are ready to go and yeah i think we got her now it's just a matter of picking it up and setting her so we'll keep the camera rolling for you so you can see what we do here we go so this compressed everything bit. so make sure that's tight make sure we're not trying to have a you good yep all right all right let her down all right get ready get set That is ridiculously easy. You too. We got her. No problem. That was uh, just as easy as setting a little stone. All right, we got her, guys. That was easy. Came without a hitch. And I wasn't sure how she was going to go that big a stone but it really was not hard i had plenty of leverage with the bar no no issue at all so we got her back tucked in again all done all set it uh it really went off without a hitch it couldn't have meant much better i was worried it was going to be a bit of a pain but it was no problem at all worked very easy and it's in great shape so we're uh, happy as can be Glad that it's done. Glad that the uh, stone is taken care of properly. 
Thank you guys for joining us for this edition of the Gravestone Pros with North Country Memorials. We're glad you came along today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do all the YouTube stuff for me. You gotta like the video. You gotta subscribe. You gotta leave me a comment. Let me know what you're up to, what's going on in your world. And we'll see you next time. Back to the motorcycle and onto the open road. Thank you.